Oh Lord, I didn't even know I was rolling. Hey guys, oh, welcome back. I hope you all are having a great day. Y'all caught me sipping on my wine. I didn't even know I had pressed record. Sorry. Anyway, today's video is going to be about my favorite face brushes and the brushes that I've been using on a more consistent basis. I've been getting a lot of questions about the brushes that I use and what I use them for and the names. So I wanted to compile a favorite face brush for you guys so that you all can see some of the brushes up close that I use. Just a warning, some of my brushes are dirty, so please don't judge me. We're going to clean them next week. Okay. So if you want to see this video, please continue watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, grab me a glass of wine too. Okay, y'all. So first we're going to start out with foundation brushes. Y'all know I like to get right to the point. I don't like to beat around a bush too much. There are two brushes that I use for foundation. First brush being the NYX 03 brush. This is one of my favorite brushes. I got this brush when I first started getting into makeup. I was watching YouTube and a lot of the YouTubers were using this brush here. It's a dome shaped brush. It's very, it's soft but dense. It blends and buffs your foundation out to perfection. This brush makes your makeup, your foundation look more skin-like, which I really like for days when, you know, I, I'm outside during the day and it's a little hot. You know, I don't want like a real heavy makeup look, so I will use this brush right here so that it's more skin-like. I think the dome shape helps achieve that buffing motion like that to blend it out beautifully. Up next is my E54 brush from Morphe. I love this brush. This is a flat top kabuki brush. It's so wide and it covers so much surface area on your skin. This gives you an airbrush finish. It gives you full coverage and makes your makeup and your, your foundation look amazing. I love this brush. This is one of my favorite found flat top brushes so when i want a more airbrushed look i will definitely pick this brush up so these two right here are my foundation brushes that i love my nyx brush and my morphe e54 up next i'm gonna go to powder brushes now there's only one brush that i use to put my all over face powder on and that is the morphe e58 brush and this is what it looks like. It's an angled brush. It's shaped on an angle. I discovered this brush watching Alyssa Ashley. And um, at first, I used to use like a big, huge powder brush because I just... I like the, honestly, I like the way they looked. <laughs> I don't really think that they put my powder on like I like it, but this brush does. This brush packs the, oh my God, it picks up so much of your powder and you can just pack it on like that. It is perfect for packing on powder. It's perfect for sweeping away any setting powder that you may have under your eyes. It fits perfectly right into that groove. This is an amazing brush, guys, for powder. This is the only brush that I use for powder. It's definitely a winner. It's beautiful. Next up is contouring. So whenever I decide to do a cream contour, there's only one brush that I use, and it is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. This brush here, it is also dome-shaped. I think this is actually a foundation brush. But I used to use this brush for my foundation, but I find that whenever I cream contour, this baby buffs it out amazingly. It's no harsh line. It blends it so perfectly into the skin. It doesn't leave, you know, like this dark. It just blends out my cream contour beautifully. I really love this brush. This is the only brush that I use for contouring. So it's the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful job with this brush, guys. And for bronzing, which y'all know I love, love, love bronzing. I love for my skin to look so goldeny brown. I just, I, I love bronzing, guys. So it's two brushes that I use to bronze. The first one is the Morphe E42 brush, which is this very big angled brush. It's so soft. It's so beautiful. It fits perfectly right into your, right under your cheeks so that you can push that bronze right out and make it look oh so airbrushed and breathtaking. This brush here does pick up a lot of products. So you need to make sure that you dab off whenever you dip into your bronzer because this really packs on the product. Also, another brush that I use is the Kinsey powder brush. This brush here I got from Marshalls. This is a big fluffy powder brush like that. And I love to use this brush like on my forehead area here because I love for my forehead to my bronzer to be kind of low 
on my forehead so that my forehead doesn't look too big. So this brush. Girl, I almost knocked my wine over. That's not good. This brush is perfect for fitting right across your forehead. This makes it, I mean, look how it blends out so well. It's beautiful. I love this brush for blonde for bronzing. So you guys definitely need to invest in one of these. Let me, let me rewind back. You can use either or, because I use this one on my forehead too. I use this one on my cheeks. These are both good for, for bronzing all over. But I mean, if you use them separately, I use this one here underneath my cheeks and this one on my forehead. And sometimes like right here under my jawline, just to kind of, you know, bronze that out and blend my makeup out, that's all. For blushing, there's two brushes that I use. First up being the Eco Tools brush, this one here, the Stippling Blush Brush. This brush is good for picking up a lot of product and dispersing it onto your skin evenly. It will not leave it patchy or blotty. It just glides on and it stipples out that makeup and it makes it look beautiful. It blends in so well with my bronzer i absolutely adore this brush and i also use my ferro brush that i received in my ipsy box this one here is a soft like powder brush but it's a smaller brush and this is perfect when i want to just like kind of uh buff my blush in without doing circular motions i would just buff it in like that and it makes it so pigmented and so brightening i love this brush so these two brushes right here the ferro 50f brush and the Eco Tools Stippling Blush Brush. These are my two blush brushes. I love them. Last for my face brushes would be my highlighting brushes. And I use two brushes to highlight. If I want the highlight popping, like y'all know I like it, I will definitely go in with the e.l.f. highlighting brush. This is a don't, like a bullet shaped brush. And it's, it's kind of dense. It's not as loose as my other brush, but this really packs the highlight on, guys. If you want a blinding, popping highlight, definitely use the e.l.f. brush. This brush gets that highlight popping. If I want more of a subtle highlight, but still you're able to see it, I will go in with my Luxie Tapering Highlighting Brush. This brush is also kind of like this bullet shaped. It goes up like that, but it's so soft. It's a soft brush. So it's perfect for like making that subtle highlight and it still have you popping, but it's such like, it's more of like a glow than a real highlight. And I love this brush for that. So like during the day when I'm running errands and I just want to look glowy, I'll take this brush, dip it in my highlight, put it in my cheeks, put it down my nose, and boom, I'm out the door. Very subtle. So if you want subtle, go with Luxie. If you want on and popping like I like, then I would go with the e.l.f. But both of these brushes I use equally. I love them both. So real quick, I want to go into my two sponges, and that's going to be it for this video, guys. So the sponges that I use, I use two. First up, it's dirty. It's really dirty, guys. I'm kind of ashamed to show this on the camera, but... You know we're going to do a cleaning, right? Okay, we said that already. Okay, guys, so first up is my Real Technique sponge. This sponge is one of the sponges that I used when I first got into makeup. Um, I used to, again, watch YouTube, and most of the YouTubers were using a Real Technique sponge, and I love this sponge. This sponge is good for blending out concealer as well as applying setting powder. It gets bigger when you wet it, and it's so soft and squishy. I absolutely love this sponge this sponge. I love this sponge. But my favorite, favorite, favorite sponge would be my Sonia Castric sponges. These are amazing, guys. I got this one at Target. I'm not sure if she only, I think she only sells these at Target or on her website, but I've always got mine at Target. And this sponge, when you wet it, I think I have one. Look, this one is, this one is dirty too, but it gets so much bigger than this one. It gets really, really big. And at the bottom here, it's flat. So it's good for blending out foundation very fast and very flawless. This, you know how some sponges sometimes make the foundation, it takes away some of the foundation. It soaks up a lot of it. This actually doesn't. It actually buffs and presses it into the skin and it makes your foundation look amazing. I find that some of my foundations look very patchy and blotchy with a brush. So I have to go in with this sponge and it blends it out like a dream. I love this sponge. I also love this for blending out my concealer as well as applying my setting powder because it works beautifully as well. And it's not a lot of work. I do have two more brushes quickly that I want to show you guys that I forgot about. Whenever both of my sponges are dirty, there is the E- 
8 brush from Morphe that I use to blend out my uh, concealer and it's this brush here. This brush is really good for blending out concealer. Um, if you're more of a brush girl, I'm a sponge girl. This one is really good, however, to blend out your concealer. It gets right in there and blends and buffs it out. It takes a little more time than a sponge, but this brush is, it, it, I mean, it makes it look flawless as well. And also for contouring is my M173 brush from Morphe. This little one here, it's like a dome-shaped little brush. I use this brush to hit the corner of my eyes whenever I conceal. I hit the corner right there. It helps to blend it out into the corner. And it's also good for contouring the nose, blending out that cream contour on the nose. And sometimes I'll even um, put on my uh, powder contour with this brush. It's, it's soft, it's dense, but it's soft enough to be able to, you know, put on your powder, but to definitely blend in this corner here, baby, this brush right here is, this is bomb, this is what's up. So that is all of my face brushes, guys. I will do an eye brush video at a later date. It's just too many brushes for me to try to compile into one video without it being too lengthy. Um, that's That video needs to be by itself. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what brushes you use, if you use some of the brushes that I use, and if you use them for different reasons, I want to know, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time and next video, you guys be blessed. Peace.